Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. We are learning about the Angular course. And uh, we are, so in the previous video, we have seen about the reactive forms, about the form arrays we have seen. So how to add the dynamically, the form controls we have seen, that one hobbies thing we have seen. Now in this video, we will go back to the validations and we will see now how we can write the custom validation. So for example, if you see this output, here we have the username field. So we need to allow only particular type of usernames only. We need to restrict the usernames. For example, see. So I can go here and I can write. I will be having the list of names, restricted names as an array. So that these, these names should not be allowed. Okay. Other than these names, everything, anything can be taken as a username. Only the restricted names, whatever the names mentioned in this restricted array. So it should not be allowed. So let's write this custom validation. So in order to write this custom validation, what we need to do is, so we we'll, we are having the restricted names thing. So whether we can get from the database or anything we can get. So I have the restricted names here. And what I will try to do is, now first is first what we can do is, write the one method, okay. So is restricted, okay. Or otherwise what you can say is, uh, so yeah, is restricted names or something like this, okay. So, is restricted name. So, for this one, we will be getting a parameter of form control. That is nothing but what we can say is the input method. So, for which one you are applying this one? So, this validation. So, we will be getting that control. So, for example, we are now we are trying to apply to this username. So, that means we will get the access to this form control element. Now, what we can do is here. So, here we can write if this dot restricted names we have the list of restricted names here dot includes okay includes means we'll checking if if the name is there if the if the name is there if the user mentioned name is there in this restricted restricted names list we can see you see using includes so how we can get the value of that input box is control dot value okay we can get that using control dot value so in this control dot uh, so if this one if the if the value that user entered is there in this restricted names what we can do is we can return so object okay it should be of type object so the name the key should the key the key can be any key any name whatever the whatever the key you want you can mention so i will be mentioning that name is restricted okay so i can mention like this and here i can i, I need to return true so that means if i re, if it if i return like this then only the validation will be applied okay so if this one has to be passed means so that means if the violation has to pass means just return null okay so or otherwise don't return anything okay so this is how the validation custom validation works in the uh, reactive forms so now if anything my validation matches here you need to pass through yeah the valid restriction has passed so please uh, uh, stop that one so please uh, allow this validation so like this we are saying and we can write this uh, uh, what we can say uh, the type written type also something like this name is restricted of type boolean okay you can mention like this also or otherwise what you can mention is so here you will be having dynamic right so we don't know the name uh, the key whatever the key you want you can mention so we can write sc s of type string okay you can mention like this also so s of type string means the key could be anything the string value and the that the value the value of that key should hold the true so this is how we will be writing the custom validation. Now we need to apply this custom validation to the username. How we can apply? So here we can write array. So we are applying more than one validation. So that's why we need to apply array. And here I can call this dot is restricted names. Okay. No need to call parentheses like this. Why? Because so the validations will automatically call this one. So this is how we can call the restricted names so now i can go here and if i refresh this one so we will see and we are getting here cannot read property restricted names of undefined so that means we are getting error here cannot read property restricted names why this error is coming is because we are accessing this this refers to here this object why because we we are not calling this here this, this method is not calling by us this method is calling by the form group okay so that means the, the that this method is calling by this form group means this refers to that form group only okay that this refers to uh, this doesn't refers to this entire class in this class we have a property by name restricted names 
but in this form group we don't have the uh, property with restricted name so that is the reason we are getting error so what we need to do is we we can do the bind of this okay so what what is this bind means we are telling that take this take this to this property we are saying so if you want to know more about this binding thing and all those things i have already covered topic about the bind call and apply in the javascript course you can go and look there in that course okay so now we have used this bind of this so now we will go here and we will execute okay now if i write here we are getting please enter a valid username okay so if i write leela so then also i am getting please enter a valid username so that means our validation is getting passed okay previously it used to take any username but here it is taking now so if i write leela it is saying please enter valid username it is saying if i don't enter anything also it is saying please enter valid username so this one is fine perfect but now what i need to do is i need to customize this error message okay so if i didn't write anything i need to show that please enter or otherwise username is required or please enter username we need to write and even when, when i enter leela it has to tell that please enter value instead of this one it used to tell username is not a valid or otherwise uh, any message other than this custom message you can write so how we can write this custom message so in order to write this custom message now we will go so first is first we will try to submit the form so here if we submit the form so here if you see here you are able to see that name is restricted true we are sending this key right what is the use of this key so now this this key is useful now to write the customized error messages if you go to this form control if you submit the form if you go to this form group and if you go to the controls here so if you go to the controls and in the user data as user as the username is in the user data again you go into this controls okay where is this controls so here in this controls you have the username if you go to the username and here in the errors you will be able to see that name is restricted is true okay so that means name is restricted is true means so we have got a so if this errors is having this one means so we can show our custom message based on this one or if i don't write anything here okay and if i click on add if i see this form group again if i go to controls user data and if i go to controls and again in the username and if you see in this errors so here you will be able to see that required true now you are getting required true that means required this is the required field so based on these errors we can write our custom message so how we can write here we can go to we can go to here and in this one so we have written something like please enter uh, so here please enter valid username we have we have written right so here i will i i will keep it in one span i will move this one entire thing into one span okay so now this one is the one error okay now this one is one error and another one what i can show is so i will copy this same thing so here i will tell that username is required first message and here we will say that username is not valid okay user name is not valid so this is the two message depending on this one we need to show so first one when when we need to show we need to show when the required is true so how about how we can write is here we need to write the condition ng if is equal to sign up form dot get of user data dot username and we have that required field in the errors okay errors object and dot required if the dot required is there then show this username is required in the same scenario when we can write this one is so here errors dot what we can take this the method so what is name is restricted this key we are getting this one as a true right so here we can take this one and i can write sorry i need to copy this one again and i will paste it here okay so the name is restricted is this one so now if i go here and if i check the output so you oh sorry i will come down i would rather i'll close this one reactive form if i click here we are getting username is required now if i write leela 
immediately I'm getting that username is not valid. If I write anything, it's gone away. So this is how we will be writing the custom validators in the reactive forms. Nothing what we have did is we have created a new method. We have took the control. What is that control? And we are checking that value. So whatever the logic you want, you can write. So if the validation is not passed means then you need to pass the use uh, your own name so that you can reference in the custom messages thing and you pass it as a true. Then the validation will be checked and it will be not passed. Okay. So this is how we will be writing the custom validators in the reactive forms. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.